Come on, giddy up. Do as I say. Giddy up. Go. Listen to me, you stupid beast. Prince, please restrain yourself. Medea is, I mean... My horse isn't accustomed to being ridden. Come on now. Down from my horse at once, you fat oaf. Shut up. I'll show you how to break in a horse. Stupid animal. Maybe a little pain will teach you. Calm down! Stop bucking! Stop! I'm going to fall! Whoa, whoa. I'll whip some manners into you! You stubborn beast! You should be honored to have a taste of my crop! I'll teach you some proper respect for your wider! That's my horse. Stop this at once. I simply cannot allow you to harass her any further. If you must strike something, strike me instead. So, the horse is that important to you? Fine. Your wish is granted. Prepare to accept her punishment. Oi, Gav! We got one! We got one! Uh, uh. I was picking me no... Uh, I mean, I was picking me some flowers when I saw it. A blooming giant. One, one of them lizards. Did you hear that? It's the cry of an Argon lizard. Forget the stupid horse. We've got to catch that lizard.
This is it! This is exactly what I needed! This will show Father and his servants! I can just see their faces now! Oh, Chablet! How wonderful! What a hero you are! They better! After all I went through to get it! Servants! Back to the castle! At last, it feels like a lifetime since we left on our epic journey. What's this? The flags are up. Oh, the bazaar is on. It must have started while we were away. I'm going to do a little shopping before I go back to the castle. Dismissed.
there you are. And you've arrived just in time. Without further ado, allow me to present my new Argon Heart. The biggest you ever saw. I mean, you've seen a real Argon Heart for yourselves. You can tell this is no fake. I suppose you're wondering where I acquired it. Well, as luck would have it, one of the peddlers was selling one. Service is our motto. <laughs> we got another if you got the money. Another? One is quite enough. Anyway, you can keep the Argonheart from the Royal Hunting Ground for yourselves. I'm going to take this one back to the castle. Uh, you'll stay quiet about this, of course. And once the bazaar moves on, I won't need to worry about that peddler telling anyone. It's a flawless plan. <laughs> well, this is farewell. I'm off to the castle. Pop by sometime if you'd like to see the adoration on my subjects' faces firsthand. Ta-ta! Charmels, please show us the Argon Heart you obtained. Why, it's enormous! I've never seen such a big Argon Heart before. It must be the biggest in the history of the initiation. He must have slain quite an Argon lizard to get a heart of that size. Prince Charmolds, present the Argon Heart, symbol of your bravery and worthiness to King Clavius. No. Wait. Charmels, do you swear before the Almighty Goddess that you obtained this Argon Heart from an Argon Lizard slain by your own hand? Uh, of course, Father. Because even if, for example, you were assisted by others in battle, I would still recognize your claim to the throne. But if you obtained it by any other means, I could not recognize your right to the throne. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, of course. I fought the lizard with my own hands, and a frightful beast it was too. Very well, then I congratulate you. 
I accept this Argon Heart as proof of your true character. My son, take an Argon Heart from one of the merchants. Did you even take him to the Royal Hunting Ground? I saw everything from up here. You must tell me the truth. Out with it! I see. So this is the Argon Heart he obtained with your help. Why didn't he simply show it to me? I would not have cared about the size. I fear this means Charmels is far too immature to take the throne. Or a wife. However, that is a matter between Charmels and myself. You did a fine job in taking him to the Royal Hunting Ground. The magic mirror is in the Royal Vault on the fourth floor. You are free to take it whenever you wish. I have already instructed the guards to admit you. And I will take this Argon Heart. It might prove useful when I need to remind Charmels of his foolhardiness. brought the magic mirror, if I'm not mistaken. May I have a look? Hmm, that's odd. I don't sense any magic at all. Bereft of its magic power, it's no different from a normal, everyday mirror. Could someone have snuck in and tampered with the mirror while it slumbered in the royal vault? No, surely not. Nevertheless, even without its magic, the mirror remains a priceless royal treasure. What's that? The magical power of the mirror is central to your errand, you say? 
I see. I see. Let me think. The mirror itself does not appear to be damaged. In which case, you should be able to recharge the mirror, so to speak, by exposing it to the right kind of magic. That would restore its former power. The man who taught me was a wizard and an expert in magical treasures. I'm sure he would know how to re-energize the mirror. Unfortunately, he is retired. Now he spends his days in seclusion in his home deep in the western forest. 